Now for a high-flying school project. Forget building bird tables in woodwork classes or making models in metalwork. A group of school children in Hampshire are building a plane from scratch which will fly at next summer's Farnborough Air Show. Nick Harper's been finding out more. Beginning to take shape but not quite ready to take off. But not bad considering four months ago it looked like this. Bits in boxes, parts still in their packaging. They have a year in total to get it looking like this and ready to fly at Farnborough Air Show. I've done quite a bit really. I'm here every, every session. I've done 50 hours of constant work, so I've put quite a lot of effort into it. It always seems so much so far out of reach to build a plane. Once you look at the blueprints, once you get past all the big numbers and facts and figures, it's not that hard. It's all about organisation. The parts are carefully labelled. There's useful reminders to help them out and a team of adults from the Light Aircraft Association to make sure everything is where it should be. There's also hundreds of pages of instructions, vital for a project this size. It makes it easier when, when you can find the instructions, but at one point we lost the instructions for the firewall. We found them again. Who would think that you could come to school and actually build a plane that is then going to be flying? And I've been so impressed with the care that they are taking. And uh, if, they, if they want me to get up and fly in this plane, uh, as long as somebody else pilots it, then I'm going to be very happy to do that. The company Boeing, who are behind the project, are now trying to organise a qualification that the children would get for being involved in the build. Inspiring children at a very young age for careers in aviation, whatever that might be, might be pilots, might be engineers, it might be maintainers, um, and so on. We think that's a very important thing to do. So not long before this workshop creation is taken to the skies over Hampshire. Nick Harper in Yateley for Meridian News.